And welcome back, everyone. We're going to be uh, taking a look at Paperboy for the NES. Again, another childhood favorite of mine that I used to play in the arcades. Still to this day, I think it's a classic, but it th that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not that it's easy, because this is among this is one of the hardest NES games I've ever played. Uh, so the first day, Monday, uh, you get your route, you get assigned. And I know my face is kind of covering up the score, but uh, every time you deliver a paper um, where it's supposed to be, right by the mailbox, um, then you'll get you'll get the you'll get points for that. Uh, that one went into the mailbox, so I got points. You can also be close to the mailbox too. I don't think as long as it pretty much like reaches the door stuff and doesn't break anything, you get some credit. And the red houses, which don't have mailboxes, kind of give, kind of give you a hint that you're not supposed to be delivering it there. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was going in the, in the mailbox. And apparently, I was wrong. How about that one? I hate that dog. Yeah, you gotta go faster to get away. Oh, I wanted to get those papers too. Yeah, and uh, other than the environment, the other hard thing about this game is you have to get your own paper supply. Like, they won't award you um, papers, I don't think. I think um, after each block, you have to actually go seek those out yourself. You have to really keep your eyes open. I'll tell you what, as, as much fun as this game is, I would much rather, I think it's much easier delivering papers in real life than it is playing this game. Of course that could be said of any of any NES game at this time. Right? But it's still a lot of fun. And it's pretty pretty addicting too. I mean you you play this once and you screw up so many times, but you'll you're you're gonna want to keep coming back to try to better yourself. I could say that with all confidence. There we go. I'm back on my screen. See, there's that's what the uh, the papers look like. And you go around collecting those. Uh, I probably should have delivered the paper there. Shoot. Let's try that one. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to move my... Um... Why'd I do that? Yeah, apparently if you throw it through their door, they get all upset. Which, I don't blame them. It's my fault. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to move my face from, uh, from that upper left-hand corner of the screen after we're done here. So you can see my score. There we go. Mm, these guys, these bikers. Ooh. Okay. Oh, sweet. I'm into the training place. I'm really not sure what you're supposed to do here. I, I, I don't know. This, this is really tough. This is actually the toughest part of the game, I think, right here. Move my face for you. And then they give you the little daily report after as to who you delivered to, who you didn't deliver to. Not too many canceled subscri subscriptions, so I was kind of happy with that. Come on now. Let's go. Yeah, there's some. Three, four. Okay. Tuesday. Next day. I thought I was going to show the stats. That's why I knew my screen was here. Yeah, and that just is, as is the case with most games. And it gets harder. Crap, I threw that through the through the neighbor's window. Bad game. Or bad job by me. What the heck is that thing? I have no idea what that thing is. Some sort of little tornado or something. I have no idea what that is. Uh, that's probably the most random thing in the game. And most of this most of the things here actually you would encounter. Uh, most of the things on the uh, most of the things on here are pretty realistic, actually, with the exception of that and that little scooter thing. I have no idea what that is. And I'm not gonna lie, if 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 I was around when this game came out, I think you saw what it said. It said like, oh, okay. it said like the late '80s. I would have ran to the store to buy to buy this game. This is really cool. I love games like this. As you know, I love racing games, but anything like this is really 
I can't, I really like. And actually, the controls are really good. I mean, not, nothing really too challenging here. As far as the controls, it's pretty straightforward. You can go left, right, up to accelerate, uh, down to decelerate. I apologize in advance if I um if I screw up in this review, either playing it or get, or actually talking about it. But this is my first uh, my first time attempting to uh, review a game while I'm actually playing it. And now the other the other reviews that you've seen me do, oh, sweet papers. Yeah, the other reviews that you've seen me do, I've um I've just been you know I I, I record what I've done and then I put it into Windows um you know, Windows Movie Maker. And that's how I go about that's how I go about doing my reviews. Uh, and then I narrate it. Okay, so anyway that's yeah, that's Paperboy. I mean you saw it. It, it it's pretty good. It's pretty uh it's got some action to it. You know, you go around delivering papers. It's fun. It's really addicting. You have to play it though. It's one of those games where you won't know how much fun it is till you actually play it. Um my official review, three out of five stars. I mean it's it's <laughs> it's addicting to say the least. It's a high replay value to it. I mean, you know, it it just goes to show you you don't need to put a lot into a game to really have, make it come to life. I mean, to really make it um, have an impact on the gaming world. So it's still a classic. A lot of people consider it a classic, and I do too. Three out of five stars. Go to the arcade and try it sometime, guys, or just download the ROM or whatever. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope it didn't come out too uh, too poorly. Bye. -bye.